from Staff Sergeant Adrian Doctor, and I'm a trumpet player in the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. The topic of this video are your first three notes, E, D, and C. First of all, before we start, let's just do a quick reminder on posture. We're gonna stand or sit tall. Your back is gonna be straight, your shoulders are gonna be low, and your head is gonna be in line with your spine. Um, and then you're, si you're sitting with great posture on the front of your seat, sitting tall, and then you bring your trumpet to you, like that. Um, let's talk now quickly about uh, just a quick reminder on the way we hold our trumpet. You're gonna put your left hand around the valve casing here, third finger in the ring, thumb in the saddle, all of the weight of the instrument in your left hand and your right hand forms a C and is resting on top operating these valves. So I'm gonna put my thumb underneath the lead pipe, my fingers using the pads of my fingers to play the valves um, like this. And then my pinky is resting on top of this pinky ring. You can also put it inside. Um, I prefer on, on top. Um, so this is how we hold our trumpet. You should be able to look through and see through your hand because your hand is forming a C when you play. All right, now let's start with our first note, which is an E. The fingering for this note is one and two. That's an E. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play an E for four beats, rest for four beats, and then another E for four beats. Listen to me. One, two, three. Make sure that you're starting the note by articulating and you're just saying a do or a two to start the note. It sounds like this. Your tongue is starting the note. It starts, um, as you can hear, it makes the sound clearer as it starts. That's articulation. Um, so now that was your E. Now let's try the same thing with the D. The D is finger one and three. And let's hold the D for four beats, rest for four beats, and then a D again for four beats. One, two, here's the D. D and our last note is a C. Let's do the same thing. C is no valves. We do not need our valves, but we still are gonna rest our fingers in place as if we're about to play because you never know what's gonna be coming next. So get in the habit of keeping your fingers ready to go even though we're not pressing our valves down. Um, so a C is open valves and we're gonna hold the C for four beats, rest for four beats, and then another C. One, two, three. Uh... exercises. So first we're going to do E and D. So we're just going to kind of go back and forth between these two notes. Listen to me and repeat after me. So I'm going to be doing E for the first note is always going to be E and then D. One, two, listen to me. Your turn and E, D. Let's, let, let's do that again. Here's my turn and then you repeat after me. Your turn and E, D. Awesome. I can't hear you, but I know it was awesome. Uh, the next notes, let's do the same thing with D and C now. So listen to me, and then you're going to repeat after me. So D and C. Here I go. Uh, uh. Your turn and D. My turn and your turn and D C. Now let's be really fancy. We're gonna use all three of our notes. We're gonna do C, D, and E. Listen to me first. Starting with C. C, D, E. 
I apologize for my voice, but I'm doing my best. Um, now, I hope you found this video to be helpful on your first three notes. Congratulations on playing, choosing to play the trumpet. It's the best instrument. Um, keep with it and happy practicing.